using too much stuff. We need two worlds worth of resources to supply us with the amount of stuff we're using today. To help us reduce the amount of stuff we're throwing away and reduce the costs associated with landfilling, we are changing to a fortnightly refuse collection. The WISE Resource Use Triangle helps us prioritise our solutions to manage this change. It's at the top, the most important focus. Reduce the amount of stuff we use, buy things that will last and avoid single-use items. After that, reuse all those bags and containers, share with friends and neighbours, donate stuff you no longer use. Further down the priority order, but still very important, recycle more, not just your glass bottles and plastic milk containers, get stuck into all the other bits too. Rinse those yoghurt bottles, clean out that tuna can, and don't buy stuff in packaging that can't be recycled. Recovery, it means getting good energy use out of organic materials, more commonly known as composting. Traditional composting, worm farming, or bokashi composting your food scraps. There are many benefits. And finally, disposal. There won't be much left, and you'll be on your journey towards zero waste. The change to fortnightly refuse collection affects all commercial and residential properties currently receiving a weekly council collection. It will also affect the new council collection areas of Bannockburn, the Cromwell Bannockburn Road, Pisa Moorings and the bottom part of Let's Gully Road in Alexandra. To confirm whether you're in the new collection area, check the council website. A limited number of commercial properties generating food or sanitary waste may be eligible for additional pickups under a private contract. Please contact the council for more information. Curbside recycling collections will continue on a weekly basis for Cromwell, Clyde and Alexandra residents, and the recycling drop-off facilities across the district will be serviced by Wastebusters more regularly. If you need an extra recycling crate, you can buy a second one for 20 bucks from Wastebusters in Alex or from the Cromwell Service Centre. For people who live outside of the curbside recycling area, your household recycling can be taken to one of the many drop-off points across the district. You can also take your sorted household recyclables free of charge directly to Wastebusters on Boundary Road, Alexandra. There is a charge for commercial loads. Central Otago Wastebusters is also increasing its capacity for commercial recycling collections and can be contracted to collect recyclable material directly from your business. Costs apply for commercial collections. If you want to know what materials can and can't be recycled, check out the information on Council's website. Call or pop into Central Otago Wastebusters and ask the crew. So what can you do with all the rest of the stuff currently going in your wheelie bin? On average, 40% of it is kitchen and garden waste. In partnership with Central Otago Reap and Wastebusters, Council offers free workshops on all methods of composting and subsidies on bokashi bins and worm farms. If you want to know more about this offer, head to Council's website and keep your eyes peeled for adverts in local papers about upcoming workshops. For those unable to compost, loads less than half a cubic metre of green waste are free to dump at any of the green waste sites across the district. Sites are located at the Cromwell, Alex, Roxborough and Ranfurly transfer stations. The material is chipped and we use it as mulch to help maintain Council's parks and reserves. A curbside collection of green waste has been considered by Council, but due to the high cost on rates, Council chose the promotion of home composting as a more affordable and sustainable solution. A private service may be available in your area. An information pack outlining your new fortnightly refuse collection day and key information on ways to minimise your waste will be delivered to you before July. There are many opportunities to help reduce, reuse, recycle and recover the stuff currently in your wheelie bin and help move us towards zero waste and a sustainable central Otago. Thank you.